Five things I no longer care about, and I do these things for my own health and my own happiness. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, A Resilient Life. I'm Ronnie. There are some things in life that are not worth your time, effort, or energy. They are emotionally draining and will simply suck the life out of you. In some instances, it's okay to unfriend, unfollow, cut the umbilical cord, and separate yourself from unhealthy environments or even toxic environments. Now, the tips that I'm going to share with you today are not about being a selfish person or being an uncaring person, but rather I do these things for my own health, uh, my own health and my own happiness. And maybe you should too. But before I share these tips, let me pause to ask a favor. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button that you'll find down below and please subscribe. The best part of subscribing is that it's free and it doesn't cost you anything, but it will help me. It'll help this channel gain more traction so that I can keep the content coming and keep improving as I go. So I thank you in advance. Number one, five things I no longer care about. Number one, I'm no, I no longer care if someone is disappointed in me by the boundaries that I have set for myself. Now, nobody wants to be rude and nobody wants to be seen as uncaring or confrontational, me included. And so we have a tendency to say yes to people when what we really want to say is no, right? Well, I find that I usually feel worse about the situation and myself if I, if I let somebody violate my space than I do if I would just set boundaries for myself in the first place and simply enforce them. Now, what I mean is, yes, it's uncomfortable saying no to somebody, but I usually feel worse about myself and the situation whenever I say yes, but what I really wanted to say was no. But you know what? I'm over that now. In fact, I have been for a long time. I just don't want my life or my time to be hijacked by somebody else's agenda. And now that I'm retired, it's especially true and even more important. You see, life is too short for me to be doing things that I don't want to do because I'm concerned about disappointing somebody over an assumption that their needs are greater than mine when they're not. You don't have to say yes to somebody just because they ask. It's okay to say no. And you can say no without explaining yourself. In fact, the word no is a complete sentence. Number two, I no longer care about the trappings of success. Shiny cars, big house, RVs, cool sunglasses, name brand clothing, all of those things are status symbols. Plus, they're very expensive. Actually, these things are nothing more than golden handcuffs. What do I mean by that? What I mean is this, despite having the appearance of success, these things actually keep you handcuffed or shackled to the bank or handcuffed to your job. How many hours, days, weeks, months, or even years do we have to give up in the form of labor in order to have these things? And we have to ask ourselves the question, is the labor really worth that label? As we get older, these kind of a things, these kind of things lose their appeal to us and the glitter fades, especially when we reach our retirement years. Right now, the trappings of success mean very little to me, but I do aspire to have success in other ways. My idea of success is to be the master of my own uncomplicated life. Having free time and a lack of responsibility is very appealing to me. And by the way, something that I'm enjoying right now. I don't have to eat out in five-star restaurants all the time or stay in luxury resorts at the beach in order to, to enjoy myself. After all, food is food and a beach is a beach. And so I can enjoy these things at a much slower pace for a lot less money. And what I really want in life are three things. Number one, inner peace. Number two, my health. And number three, control of my time. You get to a certain age and you realize that these things are the most important things of all. And here's the real thing about it. 
It doesn't matter if someone is several tax brackets above me, or if they're in the same tax bracket with me, or if they're in a tax bracket beneath me. You know what? We all look the same. We live in a house, we take out the trash on Fridays, we have a couple pets, and we all have an iPhone. So all of those conspicuous emblems of wealth don't really add a lot of substance to our lives. In fact, if anything, at some point they become a burden. On the other hand, there's plenty of joy in just living and enjoying the simple pleasures of life. There really is. N number three, I no longer worry about or care about my past mistakes or my failures. Now we all make mistakes. That's just how life goes. We just need to accept the fact that everyone gets it wrong sometimes. That includes me and that includes you. If you're an older person, you're allowed to cut yourself some slack and you should. If you're a younger person, learn from your mistakes and get wiser as you go. And if you're a, a retired person right now, I can't think of a better way to move on with your life than to just let go of the past. So stop living with regret. If you're in your 60s, you have a lot of life behind you, six decades worth. That's a lot of time to have made a lot of mistakes. We all have. We all have things in our past that we wish we could go back and do over again, but we can't. And so it's time for us to just let go. It's time to live in the present and to look into the future. So forgive yourself and just move on. Now listen to this before I move to the next point. When you finally accept your flaws and you quit worrying about your mistakes in the past, no one can ever use them against you again. <laughs> They can, when you get over them, nobody can use them against you. Number four, I no longer care about other people's opinion of me. Now, in the early stages of life, uh, that is a source of concern for us. After all, we need to please our boss and we wanna make a good impression in our job interviews and things like that. And, um, and so we have to strive to do that in some measure because if we don't, we don't get a job. We're unemployed. And then when it comes to our personal relationships, things like our family and friends, we like to receive compliments from them and we love to be affirmed and, and we don't like to be criticized by them or by anybody for that matter. But you know what? At my age, I'm at the what you see is what you get stage of life. And you know what else? I'm, I'm loving it. I'm no longer shackled by the opinions of other people. I got off that squirrel cage a long time ago, brother. If someone wants to criticize me, fine. It just bounces off me like hot grease on Teflon. Somebody wants to leave a negative comment here on my YouTube channel, so what? Life moves on. There's bigger things for me to worry about. If you ever fall into the trap of trying to be a people pleaser or trying to respond to every criticism that people level against you, it's a game that you can never win because everyone has a different opinion about what you should be doing with your life. And it takes an enormous amount of energy just to keep up with all the demands and all the expectations that other, have, other people have for you. But once you let go of all of that junk, you feel the weight come off. You feel lighter, more authentic and happier. It's called discovering your true self. Maybe you've heard this quote before, and I'll remind you of it, and then maybe it will help you moving forward. It goes like this. When you're in your 20s, you care about what everyone thinks about you. When you're in your 40s, you stop caring what everyone thinks about you. And then when you're in your 60s, you realize no one was ever thinking about you in the first place. <laughs> Do you know how liberating that is? To just be unshackled from other people's opinions and just move on. And then number five, <clears throat> at the risk of sounding uncaring, I no longer care about other people's unending drama. <laughs> now, if someone has a genuine need and I have the means to help, 
I'm glad to help. It's the right thing for me to do as a human being, plus my faith requires that of me. But at the same time, there are some people who are simply high maintenance and their drama never ends. It can be coworkers, relatives, or friends. It could be your mother, a cousin, or your neighbor. And no matter how much you do for them, it's never enough. And it's just one thing after another, conflict and gossip and complaining and griping and yelling and crying or relationship problems across the board. And when you're around people like that long enough who are exuding uh, negative energy all the time and they're demanding your attention, it's exhausting. It just weighs you down. I've said all that to say this. Do yourself a favor. Liberate yourself from that kind of drama. And focus on your own well-being and your own happy life and your own state of mind by establishing and setting up boundaries for yourself. Especially if you're retired. Because time is running out and life is too short to be dealing with this kind of negative energy in the last chapter of your life. It's time to simply turn the page and enjoy the rest of your life on your terms. Listen to this. Setting healthy boundaries for yourself isn't mean. It's about giving your own needs equal weight. Taking care of yourself first isn't selfish. It's essential. Prioritizing yourself and your own mental health is not self-indulgent. It's an act of survival. You owe it to yourself to take care of yourself so that you can enjoy yourself. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by. I'm very curious to hear what your thoughts are on this topic. What are some of the things that you no longer care about that you're now better off for? So leave me a comment below and hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe, take care, and we'll see you next time.